Some experts say that we're entering the age of visual culture. Cameras are everywhere, in tablets and in smartphones. Entire social networks such as Pinterest and Instagram are being built around imagery. Customers can interact with images to create lists and collections of favorite product images. According to their studies, 67% of consumers say that they are more likely to contact a local business when the search engine results contain images. Additionally, articles that have images in them increase their views by 94%. No kidding. Now that you're convinced that images are a powerful way to drive sales, let's look at some different kinds of imagery and how they can be used in your marketing strategies. Infographics seem to be everywhere these days. The reason? They work. An infographic is a great way to organize and present complicated information in an understandable way. An infographic can be used to define a problem and dis demonstrate how your product or service can solve it. There are several free tools and resources available for creating infographics. Here's a list of free infographics resources. The first is easel.ly or easily. This features customizable free templates that are easy to use to create infographics. The second one's called Visually. It can be used to create custom graphics. And there's also a large community of designers available for hire there. And lastly, PictoChart features a com customizable editor that makes it easy to create infographics with just a few clicks. Charts and graphs are a great way to present live data in a visual format. Google Developers is one service that displays live data on your website in the form of charts or graphs, for example. You can use photography and graphics to enhance blog posts, articles, advertisements, and email blasts. There are several sources for free graphics and images. However, it's important to note that images are the property of their creators, and many images on the internet are protected by copyright. It's not a good idea to Google for random images and use them in advertising materials or blog posts because they might be copyrighted. Many photographers are getting savvy about protecting their images online. Copyrights for images fall into three main categories. One is stock photo services such as iStock Photo, Getty Images, and Dreamstime that offer high quality images that you can purchase the rights to use. Two is called fair use. Under this type of copyright, the images are usually free or low cost, but limit the kinds of situations in which the image can be used. For example, you might have permission to use the image for personal use, but not for commercial use. The third is public domain. Images that are in the public domain are free to use for any purpose. Public domain images are a great resource for marketers. Images enter the public domain after a certain amount of time or because the photographer or artist has released them. So here are some resources for free or low cost images. These sites will specify what rights the images are under. The first is Flickr Creative Commons Group. The second, Photo8. The third, morgue file. Look these up, take advantage of them, and lastly, you have the option of taking your own photos or creating your own graphics using free programs such as GIMP or Inkscape. Images can be used to stir emotions, communicate a message, and engage prospects. There are many ways to incorporate images into all of your marketing communications. You can create them yourself using free tools or look to several free or low-cost image resources for images that you have permission to use. We post new internet marketing videos like this one weekly. Hit the subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss a single one.